What's good YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. Today's video is going to be part two to um, how to spot liquidity. But this time we're going to focus on session highs and session lows. Okay, so we all know liquidity is when there, um, it's a bunch of pending orders. It's a bunch of, um, you know, just money just sitting in a certain area that the market must go to to um, take out. But this time we're going to go a little bit deeper and we're going to look at session highs and session lows. Those are potential targets because they like to go and take out session highs and session lows because there's different traders in different times. So there's London traders. And then once the, the session change, then there's New York traders. You know what I'm saying? So they're not going to keep letting um, a specific session win for too long. So that becomes liquidity over time. So I'm going to use this indicator called paddy trading sessions right here um you know this is what i use to look at different sessions um, i'm in new york i mean not new york i'm in eastern santa time so this is the times that uh new york start and in and you know london start and switch over and all of that good stuff so your your times might be a little bit different it just all depend on where you're from okay what are they doing okay so most of the time when the market is taking out a session high or a session low most of the time they are going to go the other way okay i use this far as um new york session only that's really all i trade is new york session only and sometimes i might just you know roll the dice and trade a different session but for the most part i'm trading new york session okay so um for this example right here the gray shaded area is new york green is london red is asian Okay, I'm just gonna call it Tokyo, bro, because the Asian just be pissing me off. So this is Tokyo, this is London, and this is New York. Okay, so let's pay close attention. Pay very, very close attention. That is London high right there. This is London low. Now, what did New York do? New York took out London high and no, I didn't take out Asian high, but it took out London high. It rejected it and went the other way to take out London low. Okay. Now you see how it just immediately reversed once it took out London high. But let's let's just I'm gonna show you some more examples so this can really make more sense. Because um it, they're not gonna take out every single session high and low, but just know like when they do and you see a setup starting to reverse, you're gonna want to get in. So even right here, this is London low. This is London high. This is Asian high. And this is Asian low. So Asian low and London low became an equal low. That's liquidity. But just knowing the time frame, not the time frames, but the sessions that they're taking out a session, that's more confluence to go the other way. So right here, you see what happened. They New York opened, it went up, and then they immediately take out these traders right here to go the other way the other way okay because they're not going to keep letting traders win for too long even the traders that um these tokyo traders that bought right here they're not going to let them win for too long bro so they're going to reject and then london almost took it out but they didn't take it out immediately and then new york took it out let's just keep going let's go to the next setup so right here pay attention to new york so new york new york opened with the gray shaded area it immediately took out london high and tokyo high and what it do it went right away from it and what and then once it went away from it it was liquidity sent down here so they took out new york low from the previous day so they're taking out traders on both sides but just knowing the sessions is being um not manipulated but they're just destroying london traders that thought that this was a sale right up in here people that thought this was a double top you know what i'm saying double top to sell New York immediately eliminated them to go the other way. So like when people be losing trades that they know the direction, it's not that you're wrong. It's just um, sessions are changing. So when, when a session is changing, they're trying to take the money the other way. So they're trying to stop you out to go the other way because they know that people are trading um, 
London session and people that tro traded London session sold right here. And where is a stop loss? Right here for that session. To put it right above Tokyo High and London High. That, like that's so common. Like that's just that's textbook. Of course you're gonna put a stop loss right here. And what New York do? Got you right off this move to go the other way. Okay. Like even um the, let's just keep going because it's gonna keep making sense. So right here for New York we got Tokyo we got London High. We got London low and we have to Tokyo low right here. And let's look what New York did. So New York broke structure to the downside. This could have been a setup, probably a supply right here. I don't know, but I got my candles black and just all black just so you can see it. So this look like a supply right here to drop. They grab Tokyo low and they grab, um, I mean London low and they grab Tokyo low. Did they grab New the New York session low from the previous day? No, they didn't. Not not yet, but they grabbed those two, and that's probably enough to go the other way. And obviously, this is a setup right here for people that you know what I'm saying. This is a setup, so that's even more confluent. So they're taking out sessions and, and bouncing off of a level. That's the entry to get in. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the next day. Well, not the next day. Let's go to this um, example. So again, they did it again. They took out London low right here. Did they take out? um tokyo low not yet no they didn't but we're gonna get to that on the next setup they didn't take out tokyo low but they took out london low that probably was enough to get in um i don't really see a setup right here this could be a setup but this is kind of like forced in a way but in in a way it is a setup but um i, I personally wouldn't take it because it's just not clean enough for me but this is a setup to uh go the other way so they took london low and they destroyed um traders that took this sale and they destroy um, Tokyo High. So these sessions can be take profits. They can be take profits. Like, okay, that's session high. Okay, let me get out. Because they're they're getting other traders. That like when they're when they're um grabbing liquidity with equal lows and equal highs, those are usually my take profits because um that's where the liquidity is at. And then once they get liquidity, most of the time they, they reverse and go the other way. So once I see that they're reaching uh, um an equal low, I'm getting out. Or I'm looking to go in, go in for the opposite direction. You know what I'm saying? So they uh, dip below London low and they grab Tokyo high. New York already grabbed London high, so that really didn't count. So they grabbed the low and then they went for Tokyo high. And what do they do on the very next day for a New York session? They um, went to go get the previous day Asian low, which is all the way over here. And this is also. Tokyo low just off of that I'm mean, not Tokyo but London low this green green shaded area is London low right here that wick is London low so with this candle right here it dipped below to get London low and they already got Tokyo low from the previous day so they're just grabbing liquidity and people not noticing like they're, they're they're doing this on purpose like they're literally doing this on purpose so this candle right here dipped and got everybody but Tokyo already got um snatched just by London but then New York had to get the rest of everybody to go up. And then after they get liquidity from the um, the session low, now they're going to the session high. Now they're grabbing um, the London high right here. You know what I'm saying? This is a this is a potential take profit. They're grabbing New York high from the previous day. Potential take profit. You know what I'm saying? So um, and then look what they do right here. Then here go another equal high right here. This is uh two days ago. You know what I'm saying? This is um, London high and um, Tokyo high from two days ago. So these are potential take profits that you can um, take profit at. All of this is an algorithm anyway. So all they're doing is just constantly stopping our traders, constantly stopping our traders. Um, let's let's just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Look what they did right here. Look what they did right here. So we have right here we have Tokyo high and we have London low. Now I'm I'm basing all of this off of New York session, okay? Like keep that in mind. I'm basing all of this off of New York session. I'm seeing what they're already doing the previous sessions. So Tokyo High got immediately eliminated from the New York Open. This was the New York Open, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Next candle took out um Tokyo High. And then what's next? Like after they got them, what's next? Let's start breaking the lows. And right here, that's a Tokyo low. They broke that. They broke that. And then if you know what I'm saying, people know like regular break and retest, 
that's even more confluent. So we're breaking sessions and it's a regular break and retest to take that sale. And then also we got areas to fill right here. So that, that's even more confluent. So just looking at just even just looking at candles with no colors, you can really break down what's really about to happen. Like, okay, they didn't take out no session highs. Okay, it's consolidating. Okay, I'm waiting for them to break some type of session high. Where is my levels at? Is it areas to fill? Is, you know what I'm saying? Is it gaps? Um, is it supply? Like, and these candles are black and white, and you can, I mean, not black and white, they're all black, and I'm getting so much information just off looking at the candles and seeing what sessions are being broken. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I got some more examples. But yeah, this stuff is just clockwork. Like, they're going to keep doing it. Um, Right here. So, this is a Tokyo example. They took out Tokyo. I mean, Tokyo took out New York low, and they took out they took out two New York lows. So right here, this is a New York low, and then they took out another New York low. And then what do they immediately do? Go away from it. You know what I'm saying? They go immediately away from it. They're gonna just keep doing this stuff. They go another one. They go another one. Look at look at the gray shaded area with New York. What do they do? They manipulate a price to take out all of these traders. Even they took out previous New York high. So again, and look at look at the time. 14, 14. That that's 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I promise you that's probably FOMC. It's probably FOMC. That's why news is always being manipulated. Like these are already calculated moves. They just blame the news as to why this is happening. Like, have you ever noticed why news always stop our traders and go the other way? Like that's what news do, but it's already premeditated. So right here, this is London high. They emit, they they destroy traders on both sides. Really pay attention to this this date, this alone. Really pay close attention before the news happened, because this is this is FOMC. So we got a New York low, same day. New York low get destroyed right here with this with this candle, and they destroy London high, the um, Tokyo high. In their previous day new york high like look at just that one move did so much did so much and then what they do they went and reversed it once they got the money in their hand at this point at this moment right here they got the money in their hand they they got it so they don't need to keep going up what they're going to do now they're going to start going to get new york low and what do they do the same day the very same day they destroyed so many sessions within just this one move and it all blamed by news okay all blamed by news that's why i don't trade news because you it's not in your favor and if you do win um that was i'm not gonna say it's luck but just no long-term trade news i i just i just don't see it i don't see it at all you know what i'm saying so um here go another one here go another one they take out they take out London low right there and they go away from it and then they heads to get London high right there so it just um go back test this man go back test it and pay close attention to what's going on in these sessions we know what liquidity is that's why this is part two we know what liquidity is but pay attention to the sessions though because they are getting traders on both sides this London trade is getting destroyed at the same time as Tokyo traders getting destroyed and New York traders are getting destroyed too. So just pay attention to um like which sessions are getting taken out first and most of the time they're gonna reverse the other way. That's all I got on this video, man. I hope y'all got some insights on these session highs and session lows. We know what liquidity is, like this is just like a little refresher. But these sessions, it's gonna tell you a lot of like it's gonna tell you some stories. Like, okay, they keep taking out um Asian low. Okay, they're probably gonna reverse it. Okay, they're taking out London high. Okay, they probably reverse it. Did they take out any sessions at all today? Okay, let me wait. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.